Yeah, so this has been an exciting NAB for us. Um, the traffic at the booth is, is overwhelming. Uh, the interest in the products and services that we provide in enabling multi-device, over-the-top, IP-based video solutions for network operators and large media entities around the globe is, is really becoming um, a strategic initiative for all those organizations. And so the business is growing faster than ever. And our products and services are really resonating in the marketplace right now. So a couple things that we announced. Uh, first of all, we announced the, the latest version of our social TV capability. And it's very exciting because it's a fully integrated solution and capability. You know, some of it, social TV is a hot topic, as you know, and there's a lot of new startups in this space that are venture-backed startups that are looking to mash the social web with traditional broadcast infrastructure. And that only goes so far, you know. It, there's some interesting learning that will come from this experimentation. Um, there's some unnatural behaviors associated with the fact that it's not a complete integrated solution like you will if you're deploying a pure IP-based system, like the systems that are deployed by Kid Digital in partnership with our customers like Sky Global or Mediaset in Italy or AT&T here in the United States. So we uh, announced the latest version of that. We've been demoing it here at our booth and uh, it's been received very, very well. Yeah, it's really interesting because a lot of this activity is happening outside of the United States. You know, we tend to think that, you know, we're the leaders and innovators in everything relating to technology and media. And it, to be honest with you, you know, some of this stuff is breaking um, in a more accelerated rate outside of the United States. So we're seeing a great deal of activity Activity in Asia Pacific, Central and South America, Eastern Europe are all very important, fast-growing markets for us. It's network operators, both on the multi-channel pay television side, telcos, mobile operators, and large broadcasters and major studios are all um, the types of customers that we're seeing both here in North America and to a greater extent outside of North America. Yeah, you know, um, there's some macro things that are really working in our favor with regard to delivering IP-based, high-definition uh, television experiences that are broadcast grade. So uh, cost of bandwidth continues to drop very dramatically around the globe, and the quality of service continues to increase. And in addition, we've invested a lot of R&D dollars into what we call the operations manager that runs these broadcast grade OTT services services for our clients that allows us to comfortably sign up for these 5.9 SLAs and to actually you know, deliver a TV-like experience over the internet. Well, it's going to grow in those, you know, areas, those regions of the world that I've already mentioned. But, you know, what's great is, what's driving all this is uh, consumer behavior. This is consumer driven. People's uh, desire to have their television experience with them everywhere on connected devices. That's what's driving this more than anything else. And the other thing that's a, dr a key driver is that they want their television experience to be interactive and socially enabled. And that's the next expertise that we have. That was an area that we decided a long time ago to invest our R&D dollars. And now we're you know, seeing the fruits of that work here at this show. So very exciting. We've done a lot of work with Evander Holyfield in launching his video, social video enabled site. And Evander Holyfield has shown up in our booth earlier today. Um, it was crazy. All the fans came out to see him. Um, uh, we've got a bit of an event later this evening where he's going to join us there. Uh, he's been a great customer. It's exciting to work with him. Uh, his uh, work ethic is something that we share uh, here at Kit Digital. We work hard for our clients. And uh, so it's great to be associated with him and to have him as one of our uh, premier customers. It is really interesting because I have been around uh, I was early into interactive TV, we're talking over a decade ago uh, with AOL TV, uh, Jump TV, another you know, company that I ran for a while, was very early into the uh, consumer branded IPTV space and we did some really early things around social TV there, you know, seven years ago at Jump TV. Um, 
but both of those efforts were really too early. The technology wasn't there. The social web hadn't evolved to the point that it exists today. Um, so there's a bunch of things that are happening that are driving this. Connected consumer electronic devices that can now deliver great video experiences and socially enabled experiences. All that's coming together to drive this for real this time. You know, we've had a couple of false starts in the past, but I'm here to tell you right now, it's happening and it's real, and we happen to be in the marketplace with absolutely the right solution.